Oh boy, we got the, is this the first sound weapon I've ever covered on this channel? Oh my gosh. So, uh, this is a bit of a teaser, seeing as I will be talking about the Staccato Shadow pretty soon here, and I, I can't find the weapon, so this is really, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's one heck of a shotgun there, boys, but, uh, that's not today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about it's, uh... Assault Rifle Brethren, the Dance Maker. It is the Beat Blaster, and I left it purple because it's a funky color and because I didn't want to make it all gold. It's a pretty good weapon. Um, you can tell from the footage here if you think it's good or not. This is just me testing it out. It's um, pretty powerful, I guess. Mine's locked to water because that was the element that came with it, and uh, the last time I really tried this weapon out too much was when it first came out and when I decided not to make a video on it, which I kind of regret, but mine was water, so I just kept it that way, and I made it purple because Twine is, uh, I think Epic kind of overextended their hand when they were trying to even out the amount of epic and legendary perk up you get in twine so we've been getting a lot more epic than legendary but that doesn't matter so yeah these are the perks it's a pretty standard build um these are not the best perks in the entire game in my opinion like i said these were sort of built on testing day when it first came out but now that I've seen this, I would probably do crit damage up here, crit rating instead of the damage, and then the damage to dancing enemies, seeing as it, with my Beat Blaster, it depends on yours uh, and how it activates, eliminating an enemy causes nearby enemies to dance. So I think the way to use this weapon would be to shoot an enemy, kill it, activate the dancing enemies, and then prioritize all of the dancing enemies to get that extra damage bonus. When you max this out, it'll be a 60% extra damage to dancing enemies, which is a whole lot of extra damage. Uh, probably more than a crit damage would do, but um, yeah, yeah, you can't do double crit damage. Can Oh yeah, you can do, you do crit, crit damage up here, down here, and then crit rating in the middle, but I don't know why I have damage on this. I'll, I'll simply say that. So I would say the best perks would be to do crit rate, crit damage at the very top, crit rating in this middle one, and then you know dancing enemies at the bottom. I would recommend reload speed, seeing as there's not really any other options here. I almost always, you know, like to bring up the mag size conversation, but when it comes to the beast blast, beat blaster, you fire two shots at a time. Uh, you'll be going through this pretty quickly, so a mag size would have been nice, but reload's pretty good too because it just sort of keeps you in the action. As for the element, I think energy would fit the aesthetic of this weapon really, really well. And then, you know, fire, nature, water is just... I'll, I'll link my video below on all the different elements. They each have their place. But if you only have one of these, I would probably recommend just making it energy. As I said earlier, mine came this way, so I kept it that way. And it's one of the first weapons, I think it's one of the first weapons that came out that actually introduced the dancing enemies, and it's a really fun mechanic. I mean, obviously, they're literally dancing. How much more fun could it be? But that extra damage perk relating to the dancing enemies really adds some flavor to this game that I really enjoy. It makes me think of the, uh, the Black Metal set, which adds damage based on your missing health. Not... Not exactly as fun of a note as the Beat Blaster, but, you know, it's, it's fun nonetheless. It, it makes things interesting, you know? I'm, I've am had comments on these videos. They're like, oh my god, why do I even watch these? It's always a crit build. I'm like, well, no, not... I mean, usually, yes, but there's a lot more to know than that. You know, like, most weapons, fire rate and damage is the same. So, yeah, but that's not really an option here, and I wouldn't even recommend it if it was, because the way that this weapon fires, you know, so, sort of a bit slower, but two bullets at a time, it's really more of a, a hard punch punch every time you shoot something with this rather than an actual um you know it's it's not the kind of weapon where you'd want to be draining your magazine so that's it for the beat blaster and unfortunately it doesn't make as good of a sound as the other you know as the other weapons i'll be teasing that shotgun again because that makes oof one hell of a sound i love shooting that thing it's kind of like a party in my ears whenever i shoot it whereas the beat blaster is more of uh the kind of weapon that, that nobody really wants to hear so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys got your beat blaster nice and specked up if you got any questions leave them in the comments below if you want to support the channel you can use creator code mista and uh, have a nice day you guys